What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Crystal, a.k.a. Serenity1225, here from the beautiful islands of the Bahamas. And today, I will be going back to my roots of reviewing inspired by perfumes or dupes of celebrity perfumes, uh, the high-end ones that are kind of expensive. So I'm here to save you girls some coins and um, I have a few videos where I compared uh, dupes and inspired by perfumes that I found on Amazon for Thierry Mugler's Angel, which is my favorite perfume. And um, I got a request to do some more videos like this. And so today I will be reviewing the inspired by Yves St. Laurent's Black Opium. I do have the original black opium and a look I like that. So this shit is this is the Idu Parfum Intense. And uh I have it in the one fluid ounce. I paid $84 for this small uh bottle of perfume. Um I don't know, probably at the beginning of this year, maybe last year, I don't know. I was influenced to purchase Black Opium because I saw several YouTubers and influencers that I follow on YouTube that had this this perfume in their collection. So, I wanted to try it. I must say that the, you know, it's it's beautiful, you know, the little glittery thing they got going on there. You know, this is how the little bottle looks. When I got this black opium, I was not initially impressed with it because I really haven't used a whole lot of it. Um, I, it did not wow me. It did not live up to my expectations based on the description of the perfume. It's not a bad fragrance. I don't know why I have not connected with black opium. It's not my go-to perfume. Um, by my standards, it's expensive. $84 for this small thing. Are you dumb? Are you retarded? Um, but anyway, I'm rambling. Let me get into the description. And then I will um, try both of the fragrances on camera and give you my opinion. So this is going to be uh, from the, the actual item that I'm reviewing is the inspired by version that I purchased on Amazon. This is the in style fragrances inspired by Yves Saint Laurent's black opium women's ED toilet vegan paraben free. Um, it's never tested on animals. It's a 3.4 fluid ounce and I paid seven dollars and 49 cents for it. It has a 4.1 out of 5 stars rating on Amazon. Um, the, description, the, des the description that they had on Amazon is that it's an intoxicating blend of juicy pear, orange flower, and almond blossom, drying down to a sensual finish of cedarwood, vanilla bean, and cashmere woods. It's long-lasting. It lasts about three to five hours or more, depending on your unique body chemistry. The top notes are pear, pink pepper, orange blossom. The heart notes are coffee, jasmine, bitter almond, and licorice. The base notes are cedar, cashmere wood, and it is perfect for any occasion. So this is the packaging. I'll put the original on the side. This is the pa this is the packaging for the uh, in style that I got on Amazon for seven dollars and forty nine cents. It says that it's, it's inspired by black opium, and this is the box. They call it a spray cologne. And uh, okay, so here's some information. As I read the box, I'll put the actual spray there so you can look at it. Um. In style fragrances inspired by just inspired by just like many fashion brands are inspired by great designers so are our fragrances designer fragrances are expensive 
So we've created an affordable alternative that we know you'll love. And we promise a full money back guarantee if you are not completely satisfied. Uh, InStyle Products Group LLC uh, competes with Eve Salon's Black Opium. It does not use Black Opium fragrance and is not associated with it with it anyway with it's not associated in any way with black opium a product of Eve saint laurent so this is their version of it so in their version they have um coffee jasmine bitter almond licorice cedar cashmere this scent will be really good for this this um season in the fall um i went on a site just to get some information about black opium and it says that it's a warm and spicy fragrance with coffee white flowers and vanilla it's seductive intoxicating um it has a sweet sensual vanilla and it said that it was for edgy women now this is supposed to be the intense that i purchased i i purchased it some time ago um this one ounce was 84 dollars i have a 3.4 ounce uh inspired by version that i purchased on amazon so enough with the rambling let me actually spray the original black opium on and then i'll spray the inspired by and then give you guys my honest opinion uh and let you know if if the inspired by version is worth you spending your coins so i'm spraying the original i will say um now that i'm spraying this um this morning it does it's very very strong initially when i sprayed black opium i didn't like it i think because i probably had on so many different perfumes that day that the black opium itself was competing with what i already had on so right now i don't have on any um other fragrance so the black opium is standing out to me i do get um the, the flower yes this is a very intense fragrance but not abrasively intense the way that I like my fragrances to be which more that which more aligns with my love of the um, Middle Eastern fragrances that I've been obsessing over from the house of the taffa but black opium is not bad I take back what I said um, originally and I will say that black opium as i'm smelling it right now the original is not bad this is really good this is really good not um latafa good because you know that i'm a latafa whore but this is awesome i like it but it still won't be my go-to because i'm gonna be whoring around with my latafa fragrances what did you think so i'm gonna spray um I'm going to spray the inspired by on my other hand. Okay, we have a very wide, generous spray. Okay, uh, first sniff, it's very alcohol based. That's all I'm smelling is alcohol. So I'm going to let it dry down a little bit and then give you people very 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 strong alcohol smell it's very light as it starts to dry down um the inspired by version um you have to get past the intense alcohol opening that's the first thing i smell with this inspired by inspired by version as i compare it with the intense the inspired by my opinion um the inspired by version from in style fragrances is extremely light it for me it vaguely 
resembles black opium. This is not a dead ringer for black opium. This is not a clone for black opium. And it is very synthetic. It's very um, alcohol based. Very light. I'm not getting all of these notes that they were describing in their description. The pear, the pink pepper, um, the cedar, the cashmere wood. It's extremely faint. It's I don't know if it's because of my chemistry, but when I when I shift my hands and I smell the original black opium, which is the intense, maybe that's the problem. Maybe because I got the intense uh EDP um that's why this inspired by is so lackluster this will not last on your skin from my opinion this will not last on your skin um is extremely faint i'm not picking up coffee i'm not picking up jasmine um i'm just not picking up a whole lot it smells vaguely familiar to black opium. This is not a dead ringer for black opium in my um, opinion. It's, this is just my opinion. It's too light for me. Um, this, for me on my chemistry, this inspired by will not have longevity on my skin because I can barely smell it now. Yeah, it, it, it vaguely smells like black opium. It's not a clone. Um, it's just a little too alcohol-based for me. It's too faint. I, I need this to be a little bit more stronger. But I guess maybe because I'm, I'm, I'm comparing it against the, the, ED, the EDP intense version, that's why um, the original is standing out so much more to me. When the black opium dries down, it, it really has a dark, sedu seductive smell to it. It is sensual. And it, it would be perfect for this time of the year, the fall, you know, with the cashmere and and coffee but i'm not i'm not an, originally i was not impressed with black opium because i did not give it a fair chance i was always trying to use it while i was wearing other perfumes and because i was disappointed with the size of it you know spending almost a hundred dollars for one ounce yeah that was ridiculous i don't know why i did that that day um but the inspired by version this is already the, the 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 fragrance is already gone off of my skin i can barely smell this so in my opinion this particular um inspired by version of black opium by in style um i would not recommend this one but I will be, you know, in the future looking on Amazon to see if they have any other offerings of the Inspired by Black Opium so I can compare it. I would probably just use this as a body spray. I would not wear this by itself as a standalone perfume because it doesn't have any longevity and it's too alcohol based. This is not, for me, this is not a, a good buy. Um, I wouldn't recommend somebody spending their seven dollars and 49 cents on it because it is vaguely i mean just barely um resembling or smelling like black opium it it really isn't hitting the mark for me and the smell is already gone i can't i can't even smell this right now so in style inspired by black opium is a fail for me this will not be a repurchase and I will not be recommending that somebody spend their money getting this item, this fragrance. I probably will try and find another inspired by Black Opium and then be able to compare it like I did um, with uh, the Theory Mugler's Angel, but I, I'm not a fan of this 
it's just going to be used as a body spray. But I will say for you girls, this black opium intense is the bee's knees, honey child. It is very dark and seductive and sexual and intoxicating and all those words, bitch. But I, you know, I don't really like the whole $84 for one ounce. I'm not that type of girl. Like, I don't have those type types of coins. So I don't even know why I purchased this. I guess, again, I was influenced by influencers and I purchased it. But I would never buy it again. I know that much. For that price, I can get three uh, perfumes from Latafa. I'm talking about 3.4 ounce perfumes from Latafa for 80 something dollars. Like, the fuck was I doing? So, yeah, black opium is sexy. You know what I'm saying? It's grown and sexy and it's intense. And I'm, I'm now becoming a fan of it. In style, inspired by... I wouldn't recommend recommend it. Anyway, people, I'm taking up way too much of your time. I'm rambling. Thank you guys for checking out my video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Here we go. You know how I do it. Peace.